So we are over the water in Oxen, and I'm joined by Gemma Brown, a style consultant. Gemma, tell us, what is your background in style, and what is a style consultant? Oh, well, first of all, style consultant can be many things, but I <laughs> am, um, I help men and women, both men and women, Great. it's quite usual, um, understand their shape, yeah. understand their colours, um, and dress to look their best, yeah. basically. It's everyday dressing. It's simple things, simple tricks of the trade, really. I'm trying to educate clients to understand it so they can go shopping on their own yeah. or with me. And wardrobe makeovers are probably the most exciting thing that I do. Yeah. Which is very economical. Yeah, it's good to sort your wardrobe out. And so what are we doing today? Um, we are looking at casual summer dressing today. And it, we're looking at a range of shapes. We're not looking yeah. at all the shapes, obviously. Yeah. We're just too many. Few. <laughs> yes. So we're going to look at a few shapes. Yeah. Great, well, let's crack on. So we're joined by our first model, Jill. Gemma, talk us through this look on Jill. Jill's look is something actually she'd normally pick, I and mean, I know she loves this look, but Jill is, in terms of shapes, she's quite busty. Right, you mind me saying that? <laughs> she's got great shoulders. Yeah. And this is the shape I call a lily, which okay. is a top heavy shape, yeah. I call it. Very slim, Jill is obviously. But she's conscious of her, her bust. Yeah. So it's about streamlining, it's about tailoring at the bottom really lovely pants. Be basically, this shape has very great legs. It's yes. like the, the shape for jeans, okay. you know, slim legs. So what I wanted to do was bring the pattern. Draw, you know, bring the eye down here, down there, take down. away from the top section and bring the necklace down the middle to elongate that torso and the v-neck is absolutely key for anyone with a bust. Okay, so if we're busty, we're looking for a v-neck and we're looking to draw attention down if we want to draw and attention away. And ideally tuck it in, you know, show off your waist if you can. Sometimes yeah. you're a bit conscious of your tummy this shape a little bit, but this works really well actually out and the flow of the trousers creates a bit of curve on the okay. leg, which is, is key. Yeah. And then the pop colour at the bottom. We just thought we'd add very nicely. The top's a warehouse, trousers are warehouse, shoes are Marks and Spencers, and that's um, Dorothy Perkins' yeah. and necklace. And Jill, what do you think of this look? Love it. And um, completely, yeah, we'll wear it this summer. Brilliant, great. Okay, so now we're joined by Steph. Gemma, talk us through this look. Okay, Steph is wearing black, which isn't a colour I advocate actually. Okay, but oh God, I love you've got <laughs> <laughs> you've got blonde hair. I just think it's quite a good contrast. Yes. Actually, you can get away with it. The other thing I'd say about black is stick loads of makeup on, right? Because it it can make you look quite pale. Okay, right? but we all love black, so yes. who are we kidding? Yeah. Um, gorgeous necklace from Dorothy Perkins. Oh, it was a Wallace. Oh, sorry, Wallace, Wallace necklace. Yeah, and it's lovely. Uh, warehouse top, and we've got gorgeous Oasis pants. I love these pants with a tuxedo black stripe down the side. Now, Stephanie's. Uh, what we call a classic pear shape, okay. like me actually, all hippie, all yeah. vibes and bum lovely, <laughs> curvy, We've got a fabulous lean torso, yeah. so small bust which yeah. you can get with strappies, it's great, it's great. Yeah. and uh, showing your shoulders off actually is strappies would do a really, really good, good for that, that. Yeah. and then actually the trousers are key here, I wouldn't normally draw attention to the, to the area, yeah, okay. but I think you can with this because the pattern can break up shape too, yeah. And the panels elongate right. your leg, yeah. and fabric, fabric's another thing to think about. Yeah. Drapey fabric that doesn't add bulk right. and it just skims your thighs, and it's really lovely over wobbles. So, pear shape, we can get away with the strappy, that's yeah. what we can do. Yeah. And oddly enough, we can get away with drawing attention yeah, to the bottom. Pattern, don't be scared yeah. of pattern, you know, we can draw attention, but just if it's soft, it breaks it up. Okay. And just think about the cut, really, apart yeah. from anything else. And nude shoes will elongate your leg. Yeah. That's a good tip Great. as well. So, Steph, what do you think about this look? Really comfortable, actually. Yeah. I'm really cool. John this one, Yeah. Really nice. Great stuff. So, our final model for this segment is Michelle. Shall we talk us through this look? So, Michelle is what we would call apple shape. Okay. So, she has got fabulous slim legs. Yeah. Uh, she's a my petite apple shape. Yeah. She's very small, <laughs> which is always a challenge, I think, yeah. if you're small. Um, I would say very slim legs, you've got actually very petite shoulders, very feminine shape, yeah. this is. Average bust, but lots of wobble around your tummy, yeah. Michelle hasn't, she's slimmer, but you can have, and yeah. I think sometimes people feel very sort of middle Conscious heavy on it, yeah. you know? So it's about not tight waistbands, just okay. keep it simple, go with the right size clothes, yeah. um, and use a top that floats over your, your tummy, you know, just hide the it. wobbles, yeah. yeah. And things like this, the pendant necklace is perfect for this because it just really, again, elongates that shape, draws attention down the body. Yeah. Even though it gathers in the middle, it just disguises that anyway. Yeah. And actually, you can go a little bit lower on the neckline normally on this shape. Uh, the higher you go, obviously, if you've got a bus, the, ha the bigger your bus can look. Okay. But the pattern again breaks it all up on this. So, pattern on your top half, and then we talked before, you, you like this top, don't you? It just breaks it all up. The colours are brilliant for Michelle. She's a warm colour tone. Okay. So she's got the brown eyes with the blonde hair, tans easily. Jill, our first model, was the similar colour yes. tone. 
So she had the fern greens and the navies and things, very muted tones. Yeah. So we haven't gone fuchsia pink, we've got the dusky pink, right. the navy and the yeah. ivory, and it just softens everything. The tops from next, the yeah. bags from next, and the, the necklaces from next. <laughs> All the pink sort right of work really well in next. We've got Wallace shoes, yeah. which are very cute as a flat, actually, yeah. really smart flats. And the trousers are from Dorothy Perkins, which are a tapered trouser, yeah. because you want to bring that shape in and give, give it, create a little bit of hip. Yeah. And what do you think about this look? Lovely. Yeah? Very comfortable. Great stuff. Yeah. Gemma, thank you so much for joining us uh, on this episode. If people want to find out more and come to you for styling, how can they do that? Just go onto my website. Easy. Um, so it's gemmabrown.co.uk and that's it and everything's there. And men and women can come yeah. to you, can't they? Absolutely. Great stuff. Thank you.